go. Hello, everybody. The Mellow Man here, back again. I am a, you know, a privileged soul that I get to work with experienced, um, holistic coaches, health practi practitioners, and coaches of all kinds, motivational people, inspiring people, leaders in the health and wellness field of natural healing. I am surrounded by these people. I'm so fortunate. I'm so blessed. Here I am again uh, today, this week. I have uh, made a new friend, Andrea Schmidt, and she is a holistic health practitioner and a fasting coach. And so perfect for me, who is just right now finishing up my longest dry fast today. I am three days into my dry fast, 70 hours into my dry fast right now. And now I'm speaking with a fasting coach. Like, how does it happen? Um, you know, this is just the way that the universe uh, works. Um, uh, Andrea Schmidt works with subconscious reactive patterns which is, you know, something I've been talking about a lot most recently is subconscious patterns and subconscious habits and subconscious behaviors. These are not us. These are behaviors that, you know, for me, I'm realizing are things that I'm saying and thinking and doing and feeling, but they're holding me trapped. There's an infinite self inside of me and I need to step into that infinite being in order for me to get myself out of the subconscious programming and change my life. So if you want to lose weight and keep it off, if you want to step out of poverty, if you want to fix your relationships, if you want to heal your pain and you want it to be a change for a lifetime, we need to heal the body at a cellular level, at mentally, physically, energetically, emotionally, spiritually healing. If you want to talk about total healing, we're talking about holistic healing. That's what my friend Andrea Smith is all about. And uh, Andrea has healed herself of foot tumors. She's bounced her own hormones and has changed her life from a life of, of severe pain uh, to the point that she thought that she wasn't going to be able to walk again. And she's done this with dry fasting and some of her holistic health practitioner fasting protocols. So I'm happy to shine a light on her today. And I hope that she will share as much as she can. And we will make sure that we uh, connect any links, uh, Andrea, that you have so that people you know, in my network can reach out to you if they are inspired by your message. I know I'm excited to hear about the things you're doing. Thanks so much. Please tell me a little bit more about yourself and what you do. John, I'm super excited. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful to be with you today. I'm really looking forward to sharing the specialty of the work that I do. The specialty of the work that I do is we work with the subconscious mind. Because like we said, what happens is it's very simple. What happens is we're going to get triggered. And we'll get triggered by a color, sound, smell, taste, and feeling. And guess what? the subconscious reactive pattern takes over. And these really keep us stuck in these loopholes and these reactive patterns that lead us to go into um, self-sabotage. So AKA addiction. So this can be either. Okay. Sorry, I don't want to be rude, but we just want to have coffee and we have two beers. No, you're okay. not being rude. No, I, I don't want to be rude. I know, I didn't want to. Hey, John, I got to move. Uh, okay. This is life sometimes, how life goes. You, you can make a, a move, and I will, uh, and, I'll, and I'll wait patiently. No trouble, no trouble. You know, I, I, I already like what you've already said, Andrea, and, I will, and I'll just wait for you to move. Go ahead and make your move, and if you have to, you know, leave and come back, no trouble, you go ahead. I just need to go, go upstairs. Go ahead. Make your move. Make your move. No trouble. Okay. Um, I'll say, uh, you know, you know, you already touched on triggers. I, I was just talking about triggers last week. I think, you know, a lot of people deal with financial triggers. A lot of people, myself included, a lot of people deal with food triggers. Hey, myself included, a lot of people deal with relationship triggers. You know, something your partner says that, uh, you know, initiates a fight or an emotional response from you. Coffee can be a trigger. Alcohol can be a trigger. Drugs can be a trigger. Sex can be a trigger. Lots of things, lots of people, lots of circumstances and situations can be triggers in our life that send us into eating frenzies, send us into low energy, uh, send us into emotional change, uh, different feelings. And these things keep us trapped in a certain habit and behavior. Um, please, Andrea, can you expand more on triggers and, and, and what actually happens when we get caught by trigger? Okay, John. Yeah. So say, thanks for, thanks for allowing me to move. <laughs> it was, the cafe was a little bit busy this morning. So right, they're like, right. hey, I was like, 
fade, no problem. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is how it goes. So here's, here's what happens, because a, the subconscious mind wants the show, okay? So, you know, we can do everything, okay? We can be the top fitness person. We can be, the, we can be eating the healthy foods, right? We can be doing the mindset. We can be doing the meditations, but the subconscious mind runs the show. The subconscious mind is 90% of, 90 to 90, 96% of what is happening. The conscious mind, really we can do all the work for the conscious mind that we want, but the subconscious mind still holds what we call is unprocessed memories. The main thing is when we, when the brain cannot process something traumatic that has happened, here's what's gonna happen. It's gonna back it up one hundredth of a millisecond. It's gonna take a snapshot, okay? So it's gonna take a snapshot of color, sound, smell, taste, and feeling. And what is it gonna do? It's gonna store it. So it's very, it's very simple. What's gonna happen is you're gonna get triggered by a color, sound, smell, taste, and or feeling. And what happens is that subconscious, that unprocessed subconscious memory literally takes over and when it takes over no judgment right because here's what's going to happen it's like touching a hot plate because we don't have to think about breathing we don't have to think about blinking we don't have to think about all these things that's the reptilian part of the brain this the aka subconscious mind right so when this gets triggered that part literally takes over and when that takes over, no judgment, because it's just coming up to the surface, right? It's trying to just protect you. And so when that takes over, you are going back into these reactive patterns and these reactive loopholes. And this is where we have those struggles. We'll have those struggles, those fear-based patterns with relationships, with ourselves, with relationships around us, with relationships with um family, with relationships with co-workers, relationships with money, relationships with food, and this is where the real gift is. And um, so I am super excited to share that with you today. These triggers, um, you'll, some people don't, most people don't even, they're not aware. Here's the thing. Most people are not aware when they get triggered. They don't know what's triggering them. They'll just all of a sudden, all of a sudden find themselves back into this state where they're like, oh man, here I am yet again, right? I'm feeling this fear. I'm feeling this anxiety. I'm feeling this depression. Here I am back again in bed. I don't know what's going on with me. I don't feel like getting up in the morning. And this is this um, uh, subconscious unprocessed memory. So, you know, to, to, to talk, to add to that, to talk about that, to frame that a little bit, I'll tell you, um, you know, I, I didn't grow up with a lot of wealth. Um, you know, I, I, I grew up in a family where, you know, it was, it was a, money was a real issue. And, um, and, and so I learned uh, that money was hard to get. And, you know, I, I, uh, maybe I, I wasn't worthy of it or, or um, uh, some issues like this. I, I went through some traumas in my life regarding money with regards to like a bankruptcy. Um, uh, I had some emotional losses in my life. So, you know, when, when I feel like a loss, um, a, a, a loss of love, when I feel um, any sort of uh, like an expensive bill that I didn't, didn't really budget for or, you know, something kind of fall into my lap that I wasn't uh, uh, expecting to have the money, have to have the money for and now, oh, geez, I, I, I'm behind. I kind of get myself into like, um, like a bit of a worry. And then, uh, you know, thoughts come into my head like, oh, see, this is what always happens to me. And, oh, I can never get ahead. And, oh, you know, see, I'm, I'm not enough. And, um, yeah. I, you know, these sort of thoughts I'm beginning, um, I'm beginning to recognize inside yeah. of my head now that I've been more aware of my subconscious mind. And these things start happening. And then, you know, what do I want to do? So I, 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 I may shut down emotionally. I'm not really expressing yes. myself lovingly as much. I, I'm more quiet, I'm more subdued energetically. Even my posture may change in that I feel like there's like pain and tightness in my neck and my shoulders. I feel like digestively I'm, I'm out of sync. I may not be yeah. sleeping. My sleep may go out of order. My digestion may be out of order. Um, I may get acidic, acidic. Uh, I may get maybe even like canker sores in my mouth. Like all of these responses 
are responses that happen to me because of a financial trigger, you know, and then emotionally you may feel like you want, I might want to eat more yeah. uh, or I want to eat bad foods or the wrong foods. In the past, I used to you know, go to marijuana or I used to drink more coffee or, um, you know, I would want like junky food or I'd want to, you know, fill my belly up to this point where I'm so full and then f that'll make me fall asleep. So, you know, this kind of stuff is what holds people trapped is that yes. they may have an issue with their relationship that keeps sending them into a loss of love or a fear, fear situation, which then leads them to eating or to yes. not have the motivation to get to their workout or, or to, not, to not have the motivation to be patient with their child, right? So it's affecting a lot of aspects of your life. And sometimes you don't even know that it's happening or how it's happening or when it's happening. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, is we're all emotional beings, right? Really how we've grown up, and I don't know about you, but how I, how I was growing up, like when I was growing up, we were taught to push away emotions. Like if we started feeling, like I remember a few times in my life where I started feeling real deep sadness and I would just cry when I was younger. And my dad would be like, hey, you know what? Go to your room, go to your room. This was a very common thing. Um, and I, I, I'm pretty sure that when I, especially with emotions, when I speak to a lot of other people too, growing up, we've been taught to AKA push our emotions away, to closet our emotions. We have not been taught how to fully process our emotions. Emotions run everything because we will have this thought, right? This thought of, oh my God, I have this bill. I get triggered. That trigger leads to an emotion right so whatever that emotion might be fear anxiety overwhelm oh my god how the hell am i going to pay this bill that leads to other thoughts those thoughts lead to other emotions and then what happens is those emotions those thoughts and those emotions course down because your brain produces chemicals okay so your brain next thing you know your brain is producing these chemicals they're producing these chemicals of overwhelm it's producing these chemicals of anxiety it's producing these emotions the chemo it's producing chemicals of overwhelm they course down through your blood and what happens is they make new cells these cells bind to your other cells like a lock and key and those cells match the cells of overwhelm they match the cells of anxiety. They match the cells of depression. And AKA, what happens is your body causes your body to go and speaks to you with um, lots of things. Headaches, stomach upset, you can't sleep. And next thing you know, we're on this cycle and this pattern. And next thing you know, it feels like we're down and we feels like there's no way for us to even get out of this. And it really affects everything, especially in the physical body. Cause I'm going to like, I've just, I've even noticed for myself, this is part of the healing, part of the healing journey that I've been on as well is really to find a way to process emotions. Because when we have these emotions, when we get triggered, we have these emotions. Next thing you know, I'm like, Oh my man, like I have this like blinding headache. Like where did this headache come from all of a sudden? Next thing you know, the whole day is thrown off emotions is really the key it is where it's at john i'm telling you i have